Nicolette Bible. We're the Coots family from Bus and Dream. I'm Zoe, Jamie is my husband, and we have three children, Mia, Esme, and Brooklyn, and our dog, Freddie. We're gonna take her on a bus tour. Come on. So we'll start in the front cab. Um, we bought a 2007 Mitsubishi Rosa bus. It's a diesel, a manual, done about 400 Ks on the clock. Uh, we fell in love with bus life after caravan, and for about 10 years, we loved the idea of being able to take the bus wherever we wanted. Um, we just drive up and stop on some very picturesque places. Um, my husband's a chippy, so we completely decked out the bus ourselves. We had it modified and uh, certified to sleep five people and to seat five people. So we've got our, our two girls sit here, and then our son sits over in the um, corner just there. Under each of the seats, we keep stuff like homeschooling stuff, dog food, um, just general bits and pieces that we can easily access through these tubs. We've got removable tables for the children to do their schoolwork. They sit here, they have dinner, just anywhere that they can chill. And they're completely removable and we can store them away. Over here in these two baskets, we just keep daily stuff like our mozzie sprays, baby wipes, kids shoes generally go in there, anything that we use on a daily basis. Come on in. So at the top here, we've got a really large compartment, overhead storage. Uh, we keep things like towels, we've got body boards, jumpers, the kids' helmets, stuff that we can just easily access. And um, Jamie and myself will be sit up the front and this is normally um, where Freddie sits as when we drive. I'll take you to the back of the bus and show you where we all sleep. So this here is our family couch during the day. It's 1.6 meters so we can all fit nicely. Um, and then at night time it converts into our son Brooklyn's bed. Um, easy to lift up. Under here, this half we have homeschool supplies, our snorkeling gear, the kids roller blades, things like that. And then on the second half we have our battery setup. So we've got, we built the bus so we could sustain no power, that we could go off grid. Um, at the moment we've got three 170 amp batteries. We've got a 3000 watt um, inverter. We've also got a battery charger for when we are plugged into mains. We've got that hooked up to 900 watt solar on the roof. Um, all our panels and whatnot are inside. We've got this little link up system here that shows us what our batteries are running at, um, how much solar is coming in and how much we're using. Um, up here is our control panel for all of our lights. Um, we've got the, fit, the six lights fitted throughout the bus and outside. We've also got USB connections and a 12 volt port there as well. Uh, the roof. So the, the bus is fully insulated, the roof, the walls, everything. Um, we opted for a lightweight roof. Um, it was also very easy for Jamie to work with um, as the whole bus is full of curves, nothing straight. So that was a bit of work. Um, we installed um, a max fan just so we can get nat natural airflow into the bus and it also sucks out all the hot air when we are in warmer climates. Um, as you can see, the bus is fitted with several LED lights. Um, again, they are low on power. Uh, we try not to run them too much though because they can drain the um, batteries quite a bit. So around the bus, you might not be able to see, but we've got little LED uh, fairy lights all fitted throughout the kids' beds and on the roofs. I'll show you where we all sleep now. Come on down. So these are the girls' bunks. Um, so Mia being 13, we've opted for a full length um, size bunk beds and they're about 1700 long. Uh, Jamie and myself can fit in them. Um, we wanted a place where the girls could, you know, retreat and have a bit of privacy so they could pull their curtains along. Um, they're all fitted again with little fairy lights. They do have reading lights which they can use at night time. And if you come around, all of our beds are fitted with Sirocco fans. The girls have got a little nook there that they can put their iPads and, and things like that. Under Esme's bed, again, 
that whole length is storage apart from a tire. So under there we keep things like the kids camp chairs, remote control cars, um, things that we don't necessarily always need to use every day. But again, it's very accessible. We just lift up the bed. Um, it's a bit hard to see, but at the back is where Jenny and I sleep. So we've got a double bed, um, normal size mattress, everything. So our family is not your typical family. We often bed share, bed swap. So Jamie and I don't mind bunking out, having some time in these beds. The kids will sleep in here. So yeah, we very rarely actually get to share this bed together. Um, under here, so we've just got a King's pull out toilet. So again, that was a must when we built the bus, a, a toilet for the children. Um, in the baskets, we keep all of our toilet products, cleaning products, um, just some of the toiletries, things like that. Now this door here, so we installed, we originally this was our toilet and then we decided to change it up a little bit because we needed more space um, for clothing and a bit more privacy to get changed. So Jamie built a barn style door. So this actually acts as our changing room. It also acts as a door so we can pull out the toilet in, um, in daytime. So I'll just show you what it does and then I'll, I'll bring it around and show you what's inside. All right, so if you come on round. So this is our um, wardrobe space. So I opted for the kids in particular. Everyone's got four little packing cubes. So in there, they've got one for t-shirts, one for pajamas, our shorts and that type of thing. Jamie and I, we actually run out. So we're just like shove and go. Um, down the bottom, we have a companion washer. So that's all pl plumbed up easy plug out the hose to the back door and we can actually do all of our washing in there and um, this little nook here we've got the kids guitars we keep our projector you know bits and bobs that don't fit in the everyday cupboard and then on the back here i'm not sure if you can see but we've got our map of australia and we're just pretty much tracking where we're going again our bedroom we're fitted with sirocco fans we do have a, a TV, a 12 volt TV. This up here is a aircon for the front cab. So that runs throughout the whole bus down the um, center. All right, I'll show you through our kitchen. So again, Jamie being a builder, we bought uh, Bunnings covers, just a, a, a pre-packed, uh, kitchen set and then we bought again from Bunnings just the bench top um, these are just stick on tiles from a great company called Tic Tac Australia again it's 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 all been fitted and cut to fit our bus and um, we've got a nice deep sink this generally the bottom one generally becomes a junk basket I guess you can call it everything gets thrown in there and um, this is our big cupboard. So in here, we keep things, we've got all your plates, um, all your, your washing stuff. We've got our first aid, toiletries. We generally keep bread and soft products down here. Tupperware, this is our junk drawer. And then extra food down there. Up the top, cutlery drawer. We opted for these to be our pantry. We just found that they're a bit more spacious and more accessible. So uh, top one's pantry and uh, again, bottom one, snack one. With our fridge, we went with just a 240 bar fridge purely for sizing. So being that we needed to have three kids seats, we only had limited space to fit a fridge. So this is a 92 litre bar fridge. It does run off 240 volts. So, um, our batteries will keep up with it, but when we're plugged in, obviously, it's um, a lot more sufficient. So every nook and cranny of the bus literally has somewhere that something is stored. So down here, we generally keep Brooklyn's bed sheets, uh, portable fans, obviously Pokemon cards and that type of thing. And that is pretty much everything. So um, yeah, we're, we're, we're planning on doing 12 months in, in the bus. Um, we can all fit very, very comfortably. 
and you can see everyone has a place at different times yeah th this is our this is our inside of a bus um i'm going to take you outside and show you all of our external attributes of the bus okay so now i'll take you through the outside of our bus uh, we fitted a bull bar to the front of the bus just to protect us a bit more whilst driving um, we do have the UHF connected, so we've got the heavy duty antenna at the front. We opted to paint the bottom half of our bus with salmon pink colour just to give it a little bit of um, uh, a life, I guess. We fitted a six metre Jillaroo awning and we wanted a space that we could you know, use out here all the time, something that was big enough and we've topped it off with a six metre outdoor mat as well. We tend to keep outside pretty simple uh, just because this is our car as well. So the less we have outside, the less we have to pack up when we're going to drive off. Uh, so generally we just have table and chairs um, and a few camp chairs out the front. So this is our outdoor kitchen. We do all of our cooking outdoors. So uh, we opted for out, uh, outside cooking rather than inside. So on here, we do have a Waco, which we just keep all of our soft drink, keep the beers cold. And we've got a, com a companion oven and stove. So that's all run by gas. Uh, Jamie built all this as well. So again, everywhere has a compartment. We keep pots and pans, cooking utensils, mozzie sprays and stubby coolers, that type of thing. It's Easily pack away. Oh, okay. So I'll take you around the back. So again, we opted for an outdoor shower and purely because we're a family of five, we couldn't fit one on the inside of the bus. So we, we have gone with a dual car hot water system that we've connected to the back door. Um, this is run by gas, so we can have hot water anywhere we park up. Um, we fitted a Kikar shower tent, so everything becomes private, um, easy to access. We carry 20 litres of diesel just for top up when we need it, um, and also we've got a bike rack when the door closes. So under here, our kitchen does slide in. Um, the back end, we keep all of our camp chairs, we keep our table and chairs, um, we've got kids' trucks, that type of thing. So that's all storage under there as well. Um, it's also nice to have an outdoor, a door that opens out. So when we are in bed, we can have that fresh air running through the bus. I'll take you around the side. So around the side, we have um, our gas. So our gas lives in um, this compartment. We've got our mains outlet and also our water outlet. Um, underneath the bus, we do have 240 litres of water, which is first throughout the bus to keep it even. Um, we did have this custom ladder made um, to ac access our roof deck. So we've got a three metre roof deck up the top. Um, the ladder is also really good to clean down the solar panels. And again, we can have those nice sunset views from up the top. We do have the surfboard racks on the side and Jamie has also brought all his tools and we do have a toolbox on top as well. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much our bus tour, so the inside and the outside. I hope you enjoyed.